Hi there. Let me walk you through the why that led to the strategic marketing course and the resulting course design as an outcome of it. For some time, it has bothered me to see marketing turn into short-term activation-led as opposed to being long-term effectiveness and brand equity-led. There are a couple of reasons why this situation is so prevalent. Firstly, marketing is one of the few industries where a majority of professionals have no academic or professional marketing qualification. And what I don't understand is people seem to be really proud of it. Secondly, even those who have received formal education find little relevance between what they have learned in the colleges and what they end up applying in the real world. And thirdly, the obsession with digital that exists today, especially amongst the young marketing professionals, as a result of that, they misattribute digital marketing as marketing. The core foundation of marketing strategy that comes before any kind of channel thinking is extremely, extremely rare to find these days. And as I said, this might not be true for every single marketer out there, but the sad reality is that this is the truth with the majority of marketers. After having spoken to and observed marketers across all levels, I still think that there's a ray of hope that is visible. It's not all doom and gloom. I've seen marketers go through these moments of vulnerability and it is during these moments that they realize that they are caught up in what I call as the traps and that they need to do something to get out of these traps. And that is all that is needed to begin the process of change. So what exactly are these traps? I'll talk about five of them. Something that the young marketers seem to struggle a lot with is what I call as the terminology trap. A lot of times when the bosses are talking in important meetings and discussions, they jump between various terms, measures, analysis types, outcomes, etc. using words that a lot of young marketers don't completely understand. Also, sometimes even though they know these terms, the understanding is surface level and doesn't include the importance or the implication kind of understanding. What happens because of this trap is that one loses confidence and feels weak. It makes one hesitant to talk and share their opinion. The second kind of trap is what I call the agreement trap. And this is even more common when bosses or leaders are charismatic figures. I have seen marketers at middle and even senior levels who have brilliant ideas, analysis or concepts of their own. However, the moment they speak to their bosses, they lose all the belief that they had in their own concepts and start to agree with whatever opinion or advice is offered to them, even if the advice they receive isn't the best course of action. It leads to a feeling of self-doubt, getting misguided and feeling confused even when your intuition shows you that you are right is not a happy feeling to be in. The third kind of trap is what I call the reacting trap. This is really hard for marketers to realize and it afflicts people at all levels. Marketing is hard work and there are hundreds of moving parts. Dealing with all the micro challenges each day sucks all the energy one has as they go about reacting to whatever new scenario comes up. What is worse is when many think of this as the only requirement in a marketing role. It is important to know how to step back and look at the big picture while executing the details. There is immense joy in taking that step back and defining the brand strategy and the big strategy. However, when someone is constantly caught up in the reacting trap, they get tired of what they are doing. They become ineffective in what they are doing. The fourth kind of trap is what I call the execution trap. This happens to many marketers who remain as people executing the strategy that others determine. Over time, one begins to question themselves whether they are indeed capable or not to crack the strategy themselves. The last kind of trap is more of an outcome of the other challenges I have been talking about. I call it the promotion trap or the lack of it. This is where one stagnates at a certain level within the organization or doesn't get promoted the same way as others do. Having the right knowledge isn't the only way to break out of this kind of trap, but it is one of the biggest things that can empower one to come out of it. These challenges are very real. One simply needs to scratch beneath the surface to know how widely they exist in the entire marketing community. And I'm sure many of you who are watching this video will relate to it if you are a part of the marketing community. 
However, despite these challenges, I have seen some fabulous marketers rise through it. Their biggest weapon is a knowledge of strategic marketing and a belief in themselves. And that is why this course has been designed to arm you with the knowledge and the confidence you need to earn your seat at the marketing decision table. I have packed 15 years of experience working with some of the biggest and small brands across multiple countries into this one single course which has 8 modules delivered via 45 different videos. You don't need to make the same mistakes that I have made. You can move directly to the next stage and probably become a much better marketer than what I could ever become. Now let me walk you through what this course has to offer. The very first module is one of the longest in the entire course. It is a collection of fundamental concepts that helps you overcome the terminology trap. It is something that is simply not covered in any other course because people don't think that it's sexy enough to teach. While it might not be sexy, it is really important. So even though this module is the longest and tough, it is essential. The downloadable course materials that come along with this module act as a reference for you whenever you're in doubt later. The second module is also one which is simply not available in any other course. The notion that it tries to destroy is that strategic thinking and approaches should be limited only to the end of year big brand thinking and should not encompass the day-to-day -day work. In this module, I talk in detail about the diagnosis process or what is also commonly known as category day in many organizations and how you can go about it in a very strategic manner. The third module is where we go deep into marketing strategy. The content from this module all the way until the end helps you break the other traps that I described earlier. I have broken down the traditional STP into five different parts instead. I have broken it down as segmentation, targeting, benefit, positioning, and objective setting. This adjustment was made to ensure that the key elements of the entire process get the due share of importance that they are supposed to get. And there are examples all the way in this module to help you see strategy shape up. The fourth module is on pricing. It comes before the other three P's of marketing. Because it is something that doesn't get the due share of importance that it deserves from marketers these days. In this module, I show you what makes pricing so, so damn important and what are some of the ways in which you can initiate the process of relooking at your pricing. From pricing, we move on to distribution in the fifth module. Distribution is the biggest driver to sales and it is also one of the most complicated aspects of marketing to get right, especially when you are a brand that is growing and going into multiple markets or you are a brand that has a part of its distribution being on e-commerce. Despite the challenges, there are some ways to manage distribution in a much better way. We look at some of those techniques in this module. Then we move on to NPD or new product development in the sixth module. This is really important because I have seen almost all marketers working on their innovation pipeline. We look at the entire NPD process in detail and some learnings from recent developments in marketing science that can help you think about the process differently. We then move on to understand media. We look at media through the integrated lens. The module begins with a ton of fundamentals around media, which sadly, many marketers who are raised in the digital era seem to have no clue about. With each concept, we look at the learnings from marketing science to understand what the best practices dictate. And lastly, we move on to the marketing science-based decision tree. This is not a literal tree or a flow chart, but it is definitely a step-by-step -step decision guide supported with the latest findings and learnings from the world of marketing science. When in doubt, with an important decision, refer to the decision tree. The course ends with a final assessment. Once you pass the exam, you will be entitled to the certificate of completion. This is an online course with pre-recorded videos and downloadable course materials delivered through an exceptionally well-designed online learning environment. I would strongly encourage marketers who want to move up in their careers and earn that seat at the marketing decision table to take on this course as a challenge. With a little bit of help from this course and some effort on your own part, you will definitely get there. I want to wish you the best in whatever you are trying to achieve and see you soon inside the course.